Solar thermal power plants using central receiver technology currently operate with fields of heliostats which are fixed to the ground and receivers unable to rotate on their axes. Although the mirrors modify their orientation throughout the day in order to reflect direct radiation onto the receiver, their fixed position on the ground causes losses which limit the performance of the plant. The most significant factor affecting this geometrical performance is the cosine factor. When the incident beam is almost perpendicular to the heliostat's aperture, the power of the reflected radiation is close to that of the incident beam. At such times the cosine of the angle between the incident beam direction and the heliostat's normal direction has a maximum value. However, when this angle is close to 90 degrees, the cosine factor, and therefore the reflected radiation, has a very low value. In existing plants, the average cosine factor varies during the day, from low values early in the morning to the highest value at solar noon, when maximum power is obtained, and from there once again decreases until the later hours of the afternoon. How can the maximum value reached at solar noon be maintained throughout the day all year round? The Variable Geometry Solar Test Facility for Central Receiver Systems is the first solar test facility that the Advanced Technology Centre for Renewable Energies, SETIRE, makes available to the sectors, industry and technology and research centres around the world. It aims to test a new solar thermal concept to increase the concentrated radiation that is reflected onto the receiver, especially by increasing the cosine factor, thereby improving the geometrical efficiency. To achieve this, a new concept will be tested based on the heliostat's capacity to move within the field as well as the rotation of the receiver in the tower. The heliostats will be placed on mobile supports which will automatically transport them around the tower on circular concentric rails, tracking the sun's movement throughout the day. The receiver will in turn rotate on the tower axis, progressively aligning itself with the direction of the radiation reflected by the mirrors. The synchronization of the entire system will be calculated and controlled by computer. This first test facility is designed for an 8 MW thermal power measured on the receiver aperture at design conditions for equipment testing and performance certification. This facility will test innovative designs for heliostats such as the currently predominant glass metal design stretched membrane and other emerging prototypes. It will also test receivers from the classic tubular to the volumetric, as well as new advanced concepts. Above all, it will aim to examine the improvements introduced by the mobile heliostats. Simulations performed with the NSPOC computer code suggest that a field of heliostats with these features could improve the cosine factor and enable an increase in performance of current plants. Observing the results during the hours of sun in a day, the variable geometry facility, marked in blue, increases the geometrical performance around 17% annually, reaching during the sunniest months an improvement of up to 30%. The Advanced Technology Centre for Renewable Energies, CETAI, provides a new test facility with an innovative concept for solar thermal central receiver plants, which aims to improve the energy performance in the conversion of direct radiation into useful energy.